Hello everyone, Chad back from Kinetics. Uh, we're gonna go through the details of today's at-home workout. We have our prep, sweat, and breathe sections. Starting with our prep section, we're gonna stick with that three to four set option. The first movement is just gonna be good old-fashioned jumping jacks for 30 seconds. <clears throat> Making sure, we're looking to try and open those shoulders up, right? Try and get those arms nice and straight. Focus on squeezing the shoulder blades together. A lot of times, we spend a lot of time kind of sitting at computers and driving, and we're tight through the anterior portion of our torso, our chest and shoulders, right? And we can benefit from kind of opening those arms up and getting that, that nice full movement. <clears throat> so focus on that a little bit, but generally speaking, we're just getting the heart rate up a little. 30 seconds there, 30 seconds of butt kicks. So we're making sure as we do these, we're pulling the heel up to the butt limiting how far the knee tracks out in front. So I'm not running and lifting my butt. I'm pulling like I'm smearing dog poop off my, off the bottom of my shoe. Okay, 30 seconds of butt kicks. That can be stationary, you can move with that. The two-step lateral shuffle, really we're just giving ourselves a short distance uh, to shuffle with. I have a couple cones set up back here. So we're just looking at one, two, post up here to the other cone, back over. So it's one, two. So we're quickly moving, a little touch of the ground. Okay, if you have room to extend it a little bit more, you certainly can, but we wanted to give this compact version so if you're inside in a living room or a hotel room or something like that, um, you can utilize it. <clears throat> After that, 30 seconds of high knees, focusing on getting the knee up over the hip every single time. So a nice quick feet, landing on the ball foot, driving the knee over the hip. 30 seconds at each of those movements. And then lastly, five vertical jumps. Let's separate each of these, right? So good, powerful backswing, explode, land softly. Next rep, right? We want five individual reps there. Don't worry about trying to string them together. You'll go through that three to four times. Then we're on to our sweat piece. So here, you're gonna need some sort of object, maybe a soccer ball, basketball, a light med ball, okay? Um, be creative if you don't have any of those things. Maybe get a duffel bag or something full of some towels or clothing. It doesn't need to be super heavy, okay? We're going three to five sets here. The effort is meant to be high, so a push effort, nine or plus, uh, nine to 10 out of uh, 10 for our RPE. And we have five, I'm sorry, three movements. I'm gonna do five of each of them. So chest pass plus a sprint. So I'm gonna take whatever element I'm using. I have a med ball here. So I want to, obviously, I wanna try and do this preferably outside. If not, and I have a friend that can partner up with me, even better, so I can still stick with this chest pass, I can just throw to them and then have a sprint type effort of either jumping rope or burpees or running in place or going back to our lateral two-step shuffle. Um, I can replace my, uh, some of my running with those elements instead if I'm inside, but preferably get outside, enjoy some uh, nature, some sunshine, go in your backyard, whatever works best for you. But we're gonna have five reps of a chest pass, so just you can step into it and push that medicine ball or whatever you're using away, try and throw it as far as you can with that horizontal push from the upper body. As soon as it leaves your arms, we're sprinting to it, okay? So that med ball is gonna go, boom, and I'm gonna sprint after it, grab that medicine ball, and then turn around and start my next rep, okay? Each time I throw and run, that is one rep. So I have five of those, chest pass, sprint to the object, turn around, repeat. Okay, for five total reps. After that, let me grab my ball here. <clears throat> After that, we're gonna go into a rotational throw and a lateral shuffle, okay? So for my rotational throw, I wanna make sure that I'm rotating, I come up onto the ball of my foot, I'm gonna turn, throw, I'm not gonna throw, so I don't have to chase this, but I'm gonna turn and I'm gonna throw that ball. I wanna release so that it goes relatively straight, and I want to think about turning my hip 
when I come back and I'm going to step and spin on the balls of my feet and turn my hip the other direction. Right, so I want some power from the hip. I'm not just throwing it with my arms to the side. Okay, so I want that hard rotational throw, and then I'm gonna lateral shuffle. Boom, all the way down to it. So I throw the ball here, lateral shuffle, pick it up, rotation back the other direction. One throw per side is a rep. So you have five of those, so you actually do 10 throws on this one. After that, we're gonna go with a reverse overhead throw. So, between the hips, standing up, big throw over the head. So I'm gonna throw it back behind me. I'm looking for distance behind me, not necessarily height, right? I wanna create distance away from me, not concerned with how high up in the air it goes. So I'm gonna throw that object here, turn, and sprint after it. Okay, once I get to the medicine ball, same thing. I'm gonna throw it over my head, turn and sprint back. I have five of those reps. So each throw is going to be done five times, right? That rotational one, you're gonna go five times each side. Okay, after you finish those 20 throws and the 20 coinciding either sprints or lateral shuffle that go with them, you're gonna rest one to one. So I want you to pay attention to about how long it takes you to complete all of those throws and runs. If it takes you two and a half minutes, then I want you to rest for two and a half minutes before you start your next set. And you're gonna carry that on three to five sets here, okay? As soon as you wrap it up, we'll go into our breathe work, which is in our static back position. Um, as a reminder, when you get set up with our static back, you're gonna need something, a bench or a seat or something that you can elevate your feet onto, okay? <clears throat> and you're just gonna sit in a 90, 90 degree position. I'm gonna show you here without a bench. I don't have one in frame right now. Scoot back a little. Okay, so bench would be underneath my legs here, my lower leg. Hips and knees are at 90 degrees and I'm here. I like to place my hands across my belly, thumbs at my side, so I can feel the expansion of my torso as I breathe in. And I'm, I'm there for five minutes. Eyes closed, deep breathing into the belly, trying to bring the heart rate down, start that recovery process, and also take a few minutes for myself. As always, feel free to extend this piece. This five minutes is kind of a minimum recommendation. If you want to extend it to 10 or 15 and integrate this into a meditation practice, definitely recommend it. It's a great thing to do and a great time to kind of mix it in. Uh, it's, a, it's efficient with your day, right? Um, but again, we'll go through our prep portion. You'll need something to throw. Um, and then we'll go through our three to five sets of our sweat piece, resting one to one between sets, and then finish up with some nice breathe work. Don't neglect the breath work at the end. Okay, get there, aid that recovery, kickstart the process. Keep up the great work, guys. We'll see you next time.